Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to create a simple drop down menu in Microsoft Excel using data validation. Now if you'd like to get the workbook you see here go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So what I've got here and what I'm trying to do really is to display a list of parts in this cell and I want to use a drop down menu in order to do that. I have my list of parts right here just five parts keeping it simple for now and a cell right here underneath where I want to display the parts. So what we use to create a drop down menu in Excel is what's called data validation. And what we need to do that is simply go to the data validation window and enter the data. Now I have the shortcut for data validation right here. It's going to work in all versions of Excel. It is Alt D L. So it's right here. It's going to be here the whole tutorial so you can reference it. The other thing like I mentioned is that I've got all of my parts listed here. Now first it may not be obvious if you're not sure how data validation works, but you have to, if you want to create a list, have a list of items somewhere in your worksheet. You can't just enter it into the data validation window that you're about to see. You have to have a list of what you want to be displayed in the drop down menu somewhere in your worksheet or workbook. So let's go ahead and create the drop down menu. What you want to do first is to select the cell where you would like the drop down menu to be before you go to the data validation window. So I'm going to select this cell. Then if you're in Excel 07, like I am, go to the Data tab, and in the Data Tools box, click Data Validation. The other option is Alt-D-L, the shortcut. Now once here, make sure you go to the Settings tab, and under where it says Allow, click the little arrow, you'll see the drop-down menu, go to List. So click List, Make sure that the box next to in cell drop down is checked. By default, it should be checked, just make sure. Then click in the source box. And I'm going to click this little button. You don't have to, though. Then select the data which you would like to have fill out your drop down menu. So I'm going to select all this data and then hit enter. Make sure that the range is right, E2 to E6. And go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice that when you have the cell highlighted, you see a little drop down arrow. That's how we know we have a drop down menu here. So click the little drop down arrow and check it out. We have a drop down menu. So now a user can select any one of these parts and they don't have to remember exactly what it's called. Now if you want to um, empty this little cell right here, you can't select a blank cell right here. So what you want to do, is simply hit the delete button. All it does is it removes any text from this cell. It doesn't actually delete anything, right? Because if you click the drop down arrow, you can still select anything here. So if you want to remove the text, simply hit delete. Now, the other thing is once you click away from the cell, um, you'll notice that you can't really tell that there's a drop down menu there because the drop down arrow disappears. Now in this cell you can't see the lines around this, or in this worksheet you can't see the lines around the cell because I colored it previously. We'll do that right now. What I like to do for all of my drop down menus is to give them a particular background color. So I'm going to go to the home tab, select the cell with the drop down menu, and I like to make it yellow. You can make it any color you want, but the point is I know when I don't have that cell selected that it is a drop down menu. It's yellow, so I know it's a drop down menu. Select the cell drop down there we go. Now you may be thinking that you don't want the drop down menu to be on the same tab as you have the source data, right? Um, and the problem is you can't actually select a different tab in the data validation window. So when I go back here, actually I'm going to click this cell again, go back to data validation, you cannot go to another tab. It doesn't let you. I'm going to show you how to do that in a different tutorial. But for now, let's just go ahead and get rid of the data validation. So say that you realize later on that you don't want the drop down menu there anymore. How do you get rid of it? First, make sure you select the cell with the data validation, the drop down menu. Then hit Alt DL, just go back to the data validation window. Now all you have to do is under where it says allow, click the drop down arrow, select any value. Click OK. Let's delete this text. And now, when you select the cell, there's no drop down arrow. Data validation is gone. 
So really quickly, I'll add it back, Alt-D-L, select a list, make sure in-cell dropdown is checked, click source, select my source cells, click OK. So that's really all there is to it in order to create a drop-down menu in Excel. It's very easy to do. You just need to remember that to create the drop-down menu, you have to do what's called data validation. So you're thinking drop-down menu, but you need to be thinking data validation because in the Excel menus, it's always going to be under data validation. And like I said, in a previous version of Excel, you can use this shortcut right here, Alt-D-L, and it will take you to this window. So that's all there is for this tutorial, and if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there.